and Marcus, um, how, how would you evaluate your first career start, which I believe uh, resulted in your third straight career high um, going back a few games? Yeah, you know, I'm just happy we got the win. Um, at the end of the day, that's what matters, especially this time of year going into the playoffs. We want to be sure that, you know, we're building the right habits necessary for us to be successful. So um, to be able to get a start and for us to be able to get a win, um, that was definitely big, big for our team, big for myself, as well as a guy like Blocko, who, you know, I've, I've been with, you know, since the beginning of my career here. Um, so, you know, they be able to come out with the win was big for us. So looking forward to uh, having another crack at it on Sunday with uh, Portland. Brandon Crystal. I know you're kind of downplaying it, but how, how nice is it to get these extended minutes and show what you can do on this level? Obviously, everybody knew about you coming in, but you're behind a bunch of really good players. So just how rewarding is that? Oh, uh, you know, it's definitely awesome. Um, just to be able to have an opportunity and make the most of those those opportunities is, is big. You know, uh, give big credit to Coach Malone for giving me those opportunities. but. Um, you know, it's just about the way not only myself, but our whole organization prepares, you know, we treat it in a very professional manner and um, the way that we perform, you know, has a lot to do with how we prepare ourselves, you know, prior to game time. So, um, like I said, you know, fortunate for the opportunity, but um, I'm just looking forward to continued success with this team. Katie Wingy. Hey, Marcus, kind of a bigger picture question here, I guess, but for you, for this to be your rookie season and the condensed schedule and all the COVID protocols and all these things going on, I'm sure it's just as taxing mentally as it has been physically. I also know that you and Michael Porter Jr. are really close. So I'm curious as to what your relationship has been like with him in terms of how he's helped you both on and off the floor. Yeah, you know, it's definitely been a year that's been unprecedented. Um, I don't think anybody could prepare you as a rookie coming into the league, especially this year. For what was to to come uh but you know i'm very big in my faith and um that's been you know the foundation of what's helped me stay the course throughout this time and um michael being a guy that you know i actually live with me and him live together and um, a guy who's a lot like me in that aspect um we mesh and gel together together really well so i mean me and him are very similar in our personalities and things that we like to do so to be able to have a guy like that who's been through it and has had a lot of success success at this level it being his, his only his third year. Um, I go to him for a lot of, you know, questions or um, just talks that we have. So to be able to have a guy like that, that I'm extremely close with on the team, but being with him every day outside the court, um, it's definitely helped mentally, you know, to be able to overcome some obstacles that might come up or might, that had come up earlier in the season. So, um, you know, I'm fortunate, you know, to have a guy like that um, to be around each and every day. And um, I wouldn't trade for anything else. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Marcus. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win and the big performance. Marcus, thinking about the playoffs, what do you think the team still needs to improve on offense? Um, you know, I think taking care of the ball is going to be a big point of emphasis for us. Um, we have a lot of guys that, you know, can make a lot of things happen offensively, but uh, especially in the playoffs, you know, the intensity of the game is only going to increase. So um, making sure we take care of those possessions um, on a nightly basis in the playoffs is going to be big for us. I think um, we have a lot of guys that make shots, but getting great shots and making sure that we take care of the ball to give teams less opportunities um, on the offensive end for them is going to be huge. So um, I think that is our, our biggest um, biggest point going into playoffs on what we need to kind of clean up. But um, I know with the personnel that we have, we're going to lock in on film and in practice and workouts to be sure that we're prepared for that. Esteban Abed. Hi, Marcus. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, first one, uh, congrats for your first uh, game with uh, Star Line Up. Um, how do you feel about the confidence the, whole, the coach have uh, to you to make this shot, uh, take the, the point guard uh, position to create a game for your teammates? No, it's definitely big, you know, especially just being a rookie and um, this time of year, um, Coach Malone giving me that that confidence in myself, but also my teammates too. You know, the guys that didn't play tonight, like, you know, Faku and, and Paul and Aaron, you know, those guys do a great job of, you know, giving me that confidence as well. Um, so 
Um, it's, it starts with Coach Malone, but I think it goes down throughout the whole organization. Um, from the time that I got to Denver to now, you know, everybody's been extremely positive and they know what I can do as a basketball player. Um, it's just about the opportunities being there. And then um, when they come, just being able to seize them and to have coaches and my teammates um, be as supportive as they are um, with me in, in those situations. It definitely helps um, make the transition a lot easier. Mike Singer. Marcus connected a, a couple times with Joker tonight. Um, what makes him such an easy guy to play with, regardless of who is around him? He seems to have success. Why is he so flexible and, and kind of adaptable? I mean, he's been, he's definitely the best player I've ever played with. And, you know, um, it's a tribute to, you know, how hard he works. But the attention that he draws, being able to do so many things, not just score the ball, but pass and the way he passes and makes plays so easy for his teammates. Um, makes him so unique to play with. You know, for a guy like me that's able to shoot and score in a variety of ways, um, you know, that's all you can want as a player, you know, to be able to work with a guy like that. And, you know, I don't, I don't remember the last time I was able to have open shots. You know, in college, I never got them. So playing with Joker in these past couple of games, you know, I mean, I, I've been open a couple of times and I was almost a little surprised by that. So um, just the attention that he brings from opposing defenses and his ability to be creative with the pass is unlike anybody I've ever played with. So um, there's there's no surprise, and there's no surprise to me why he's the clear front runner for MVP. And it's because I've seen it on a daily basis. You know, he's unbelievable. So just to be able to share the floor with him and be able to, you know, compliment him in a, in a little bit of, of a way on the offensive end, um, it definitely is, is big for a player like me. AD Wingy. Okay, so on that note, a little bit. Marcus, take me through kind of the evolution of your confidence in the NBA, where you started to where you are now, and how much just seeing the ball go in and getting some of those open shots has helped you have a night like tonight. Yeah, you know, um, I think with any type of process, especially one like this, um, you kind of have to experience those bumps. Um, you have to experience, you know, failure in some aspects or some adversity. And I think that's kind of how I started. Um, you know, by playing a lot in college to not playing a lot, um, you kind of have to have a different approach. And for me, um, my approach each and every day was just to have a positive attitude because I knew at some point in time um, there was going to be an opportunity present, whether it was this year, next year, um, whatever the case may be. Um, just controlling what I could control each and every day, and whether that was a workout, a lift, um, make that be my focus, not necessarily going into play at the moment, but whatever my objective was at the moment to be able to do the best to my ability to make that the best situation I could be or I could be in. So for me, just breaking it down um, in smaller ways rather than think big picture made it a lot easier for me to um, go about it day to day with not playing. And then, um, you know, as I continued to develop and get better, you know, um, opportunities started to present itself with guys getting hurt and things like that. Um, so and I think big credit to how we played throughout the year, you know, with the guys being able to rest going into the playoffs, for giving guys like myself and Vlatko and Zeke the opportunity to show what we can do. Um, but as a rookie, you know, there's always room for improvement. And that's what I'm looking forward to most as we continue on this year. And then, you know, however long else we go is, you know, just the continued improvement, not only for myself, but for our team. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate you guys.